But you mentioned that mentorship is really important and it was a big uh, factor in your decision to go into oral pathology. What are some things that students should be aware of or they should have on their resume when they're applying to oral pathology? What are some key facts? You Unique would say? things specific for oral vet and the key things that you think Okay, so oral medicine, oral facial pain are very different from oral pathology for applying. Um, I'll touch on those briefly before I do the oral pathology question. Oral facial pain and oral medicine, you have to have a, a, a calling, so to speak, um, because these patients are sometimes very difficult to treat and they, they require a lot of your emotional energy. So my story was the most important uh, aspect to me getting into the, these programs. My story about being sick, that's like a, a real you know, cornerstone of who I am and why I love these patients. But also um, you know, revealing more about my story is that my family has a very big history of mental illness and mental health issues. I've had several uh, family members die by suicide. So the uh, oral facial pain community has a lot of mental health issues, and that's something I'm very um, interested in and alleviating the physical signs and symptoms of these mental health issues. So if you have a calling, a purpose, um, part of your story that you can share, that's going to be very important for these program directors to understand because it has to come from your soul. You cannot make it through every single day of oral facial pain patients without having a true calling in your soul. It will grate you down. <laughs> it's one of those ones that people really need to consider before they go into because it is very difficult. Um, it's almost like being an oncologist, you know, like some people think that it's, it's just too difficult on their soul, that sort of thing.